Latex. Jade, welcome in. <sighs> welcome to the clan. Thanks for subscribing. Enjoy your latex. Turn on sleep regularly. Ryan Rainbow, 40 months. Ryan Rainbow just subscribed for 40 months. Nintendo's, good morning. It's good. Grab your coffee, y'all. All the things. Hey, Jester, thanks for contributing.
You know I do. We also have this. Latex. Hey, <clears throat> Senpai Steve. Yeah, we resurrected the boss, y'all. Oh, leg day. It's always tough. All right. Good morning, y'all. Welcome in. <laughs> you have to go run, man. What are you doing, Steve? Don't hurt your knees. That's my that's my thing. I can't run anymore because of my knees. Y'all hear the music? Okay. I didn't test the music on the stream. Wait, what's a Murph? What's a Murph? Yeah, get your votes in, y'all. Oh, Jade ruined the 69. <laughs> um, I was wondering if I should cut Grandia and Star Ocean because they're never going to make it and then just make it between FF9 and Berseria. I don't know. What do y'all think?
Because we probably only have a couple streams left before we hit the challenge. Yeah, we're at 93% raised. It's crazy. No, 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 no. The bers Berseria is pretty close there. So I'm saying... I'm saying that... Should we cut Grandia and Star Ocean and see what happens between the two? It, it might help... Honestly, it might help Berseria, but maybe that's what you don't want, Jade. <laughs> it could help FF9 more, too, though. It's it's like the, the two-party system, you know, you vote, you throw away your vote, you end up throwing away your vote if you're not voting for the two that are the, the top runners, the front runners. Put on a weighted vest, one mile, 100 pull-ups, 200, what the frick, Steve? That's crazy. You have all of them? Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, that's the thing, like, for me, eventually I'm going to play them all, right? It's just, what am I going to play for casual game week? <laughs> Steve, that sounds like, that sounds kind of crazy. That sounds like a lot. Latex. Hey, Shane Zell. I did that during the army and hated. Oh, Shane Zell knows what you're talking about, Steve. Yeah, that that, that doesn't sound like something I want to do. Just saying. <laughs> 300 squats all in one setting, one session. 200 push. I don't think I can do 200 push-ups all at once. I can do a good amount, but. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking in tunnels. Um, maybe I should put a poll up. Um, to just for today and see what uh, what people think. I don't want to like. I don't want people to think that um, that their uh, their vote for the other two is you know no good. But at this point, it kind of is. So. <laughs> yeah that's the thing so alright I'll put a poll up to see what, what y'all think should we nix Grandia Star Ocean and let Berseria FF9 duke it out Yes. Yes. No. That's it. That's it. Let's see what we get. Latex. It's for time. Most people break up the reps. Okay. Wish it was blank. Welcome in. Good morning. Grab some coffee or maybe you want a latte. Oh, three, six, nine. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that's that's uh that's quite a thing. So why are you doing that, Steve? Is it just for fun or <clears throat> had a mocha latte early. Bacon o'clock. Oof. Hey, we should have bacon today. <laughs> He's the bacon cooker, so <laughs> it's easy for me to say that. I might need some uh special energy. I bet. <laughs> well Steve I hope you're doing well uh, I think you had said you were kind of exhausted and kind of been busy lately what have you been up to or have you just been gearing up for this whole thing or is that starting now I think you said work has been work has been a lot how are you doing wish it was blank um, I'm excited y'all marathon month is over we had a good retrothon run um, 8 minutes over PB yesterday for Chrono Trigger um, but it was a decent run um, and did I even die? I didn't die at all during the whole thing, so that's pretty good. Um, oh, and, and yeah, so basically we don't have any marathons left for until June, but I am doing a tracked mode showcase uh, on May 12th, Mother's Day. <laughs> so that's the only thing that's uh, going to be coming up for Dragon Quest XI. But there shouldn't be any. There shouldn't need to be any special marathon practice run or anything. We're just gonna keep grinding away at Dragon Quest Eleven. So, oh, it's an annual thing. Okay, you do it every year, Steve. 
Oh, they started treatment. Yeah, yeah. How's that going? So that's re- that's helping. That's good. Um, kind of weird how testosterone levels make a huge difference in mood and things like that. And how as we get older, like our bodies don't produce the, the hormones we need sometimes enough. I al- so I woke up at three this morning and I was almost going to do a run and I was like, you know, I woke up at three the last several mornings and done a run and I'm like, I don't need to do a run today. <laughs> so that's then I like kind of fell back asleep and I kind of regretted it because then I got a neck ache. Complete 180. Oh, wow. Good. Okay. Latex. Hey, Big Papa Pump, I had a test done. My blood is 99% testosterone and 1% fruit roll-ups. <laughs> Welcome in, Big Papa Pump. Do you want uh, Do you want some hot chocolate? Do you want a coffee? Maybe some tea? We'll go with coffee. I don't like the commercials much, but the science is pretty awesome. Wait, bonus tea? Can we, Wait, what? What about commercials? Oh, this commercial's about it. Okay, gotcha. Bonus tea can be a big deal. Um, Nintendo's, I think it's not, it's the polyphasic sleep is, you know, I've, I wouldn't say my sleep schedule is messed up. It's just that I need less sleep now. And so I go to bed at 10 every night. That never changes. But then depending on how many naps I got during the day, I may wake up earlier because I already got enough REM, basically. And then it, it helps me because my back... My back can only sleep for so long without hurting, so. <laughs> and same with my neck lately. My neck has problems, so. So I think my sleep schedule is pretty good, actually, considering what it's what I've been through. Um, just in, in general, like, I need to keep the naps up to be able to keep, keep the getting up at three thing going. It's either three or five that I seem to get up nowadays. And that just depends on how many, how much nap I had the day before. What's up, Big Papa Pump? How's uh, how's your Sunday? Welcome to the cafe. We're just chatting this morning. It's just a short stream for hangout. We do this once a month. Uh, last Sunday of the month is what I've been doing. You know all about trying to sleep with so Oh yeah, Nintendo's. How are you doing? So Nintendo's was in a car accident a while a little while ago and has had some back issues. Hopefully you're doing a lot better now. I got my new little shirt from Comic Con, Passenger Princess. I don't. The only thing I don't like is you ha- you can't really see unless I like do this. You can't see the logo as much as well. How long you how long are you gonna do that for? Huh? How long are you gonna do that for? Why? Cause I gotta do Patreon after this. Oh, I only have two probably three episodes now. Okay. So an hour and a half. Cool. Food. Thanks for feeding the lamb. He's been eating all my cookies. Drive me nuts. <laughs> Healing up well, doing a lot better. Good, good to hear. I have had yeah, I had, I had, last week I had a weird headache thing with, where I was sensitive to light as well. Um, 
I don't know if it, I don't know if it could be considered a migraine. I didn't. I've never. I don't think I've ever really had a migraine because it's not been that crazy or hard. But it was just like a non-stop and then sensitive to light situation for like two days. So I think I, th so I, th I think I need to cut out diet pop for a little bit. And maybe drink more water. I don't know. So I have to wear the back brace. Oh, how often are you wearing it? What are you wearing it for? Like certain things or just constantly? I still wear a back brace for things like snowboarding um, and squats and just certain things where I'm going to like, where I need the extra back support. Yeah, me too. And and pop dehydrates me. So I have to be careful. Like I sometimes I'll wake up in the morning and have some coffee and I won't have any water and that's a problem. So I do try to try to have some water too in the morning. Oh, up and moving around. Okay. Yeah, I did not do well at the gym this week because I woke up so early. Um, right, I have a thing where if if I wake up early, I, I can't leave until five because the garage is right below the bedroom. <laughs> and so it would wake him up. So what I need to do on, on workout days is do a short stream or something and then go at five or six to the gym. I could have done that on Friday, I think, but, um, but I had a, uh, I had a headache. And so I was like, I, I can't do gym when I have a headache. It just makes things so much worse. But yeah, hopefully this week I can get to the gym. I got cheer practice tonight. Um, and then we're hitting May. <laughs> yeah, headache. All right, it looks like people don't want um, to nix Grandi and Star Ocean, so okay. Of three people, two said no. So I still might do a run today, um, but I got to get my Patreon stuff done. Um, I got to do some character, personalized character videos. I'm doing uh, Red Lantern Supergirl this month. And then a uh, quick bikini shoot as well. But yeah, uh, so going forward for cosplays, we're working on Jade Bunny, uh, which is going pretty well. Uh, I need to... I think we're gonna work on the ears this sh this this week, um, and then I need to decide if I'm gonna. Oh, I need to I need to add a bunny tail. But I guess I need to decide if I'm adding like coattails first. Yeah, exactly, Nintendo's. That's why I pulled it instead of just doing it. And then I'm thinking about working on a... Uh, actually, after Jade Bu Jade Bunny is done, I'm probably going to take a break from Latex and use that slot for some from gaming at some point. Um, and then at some point, we're going to want to start working on Daphne a Daphne Bunny. Because a friend of mine and I are going to do Daphne Velma bunnies for Emerald City Comic Con next year. So i got to start thinking about and working on that.
Yeah. Well, I mean, I have a regular Velma costume, um, and I've wanted to do a regular Daphne costume too, but a friend of mine wants to do bunnies of something, and so this made sense to like do a bunny, bunny Daphne and a bunny Velma. So, and since Daphne's purple, I was going with that one. So that'll be like a custom design. Obviously, it'll be purple. I'll probably add some like pink um, lines or something. But yeah, not a lot of cosplays planned otherwise, really. Velma, yeah, so my friend will be doing the Velma bunny. I think, like, how I'm going to work latex streams is I'm going to work on something for several weeks and then take a break, and then work on something for several weeks and then take a break. And then trips coming up. I actually might have a trip in May. I might be going to uh, Long Beach for Long Beach Pride for a cheer trip. I haven't decided yet. I should I should probably like actually book that because it's like the 18th and 19th. Velmatine, Velmatine Rabbit instead of Velveteen. Let's look at upcoming events here. All right, it is 19th. Got two for two going for sure. And a bunch of maybes. So, I don't know. Let's see. I would have gotten away with it too if it, if not for you multiplying kids. And then, Latex. hey, Allie, welcome in. Um, do you wanna, want some coffee or do you want a PSL maybe? <laughs> um, welcome to Jer Cafe. We're just chatting, chatting about our week, chatting about our month, chatting about what's going up, uh, coming up. I'm doing pretty well. And the big July Poland trip is coming up. Going to Poland, going to Prague. Uh, actually, what's going to happen is I'm flying to London and I catch a flight to Poland. And then from Poland, I fly to Prague. And then I fly to Frankfurt. And then I fly to London again, take a train to Cardiff. And then I'm hanging out with some friends in Cardiff. And then I take a train back to London and then go back to Poland again. <laughs> and then fly to Seattle back home. So it's going to be it's gonna be like a three-week trip. I'm probably going to have to work some of it, but... Take some days off here and there. But yeah, cons. Pax is the only one I think I'm considering going to. Pax in September. Oh yeah, Ryan and I were also considering um, Latex. Today, the day of stories. Yeah, we're just hanging out, Snack. What's up? Do you want some coffee or maybe a mimosa? <laughs> uh, just sitting downstairs. Felicity's sleeping, just made a pasta bake. Oh, cool, nice. But yeah, make some coffee, or, or we got tea or latte. I've got, I've got my coffee. I added some new uh, ten two commands and some ten ten two. There are actually some triggers. Um, if I go to
I added some triggers like that. Um, what else we got? We got. And then. Alright, actually, I need to move that one to the side. But yeah, I gotta I gotta do some Patreon videos and photo shoot today, and then we might do a run later. And I got cheer practice, and that'll be Sunday. And then we're back into it next week, back into the usual schedule. Oh yeah, but so Ryan and I are talking about maybe going to Florida again for our birthday. <laughs> Cause we have to use up these like timeshare points that we bought and, uh, and we really like this one resort there. And so we might do that. See if uh, any friends want to come with us. But yeah, packs. I'm gonna wear Jade Blue Bunny. I'm hopefully gonna do some speed running um, with GDQ if we if that all pans out. But yeah, as far as games, I mean we're continuing to run CT Dragon Quest, primarily CT and Dragon Quest. Um, we'll throw Cross in there here and there, and tend to when we when we can as well. And then we're gonna be scheduling a casual game week. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do it in May or June. Um, but basically we'll, we'll nix all other streams and I might try to stream every, every day, uh, of that week and we'll try to see how far we can get through whatever game wins. It looks like it's going to be FF9, but, but Bursuri is a close second. It's not far behind. I also added uh, this in. <laughs> that way since we're skipping a thousand words now, we can we can still see it <laughs> real quick. Yeah, and then with the trips coming up, I'll be hopefully working on my my book four some more. Although since I'll be recovering from the the ear surgery too, I'll probably want to. Um, I'll want to play some games and stuff too, so I'm bringing a, bringing my Steam Deck and the dock. Made sure that the Airbnb will have like a TV to, to hook up to. Yeah, okay, I did write, I stood just, I did start writing a new song. Um, it's to Taylor Swift, Shake It Off. Um, and it's called Run It Back. Uh, so another speedrunning theme. Um, then I did start working on Jen's song too, since she redeemed Write Me a Song with 200,000 channel points.
But yeah, May is going to be grind month, I think. Um, again, we'll see when we schedule a casual, the casual game challenge. Oh, I do want to see how to set up uh, donations. Because I do for May and June, I want to start up a campaign for True Seattle. Which I do for every Pride, for Pride Month every year. <laughs> Jen's crowning. I mean, no, it's a big deal. She she redeemed the first ever. Write me a song. It's a big deal. Saving up two hundred thousand channel points. Where do you even do that? Set up a charity thing. Because I know it's built into Twitch now. Charity, here it is. Okay. Cheers, Seattle. Felicity's now Howbo? <laughs> Howbo? Apparently I've set this up twice already. Okay. Delete. Oh, but then it says I don't have any. What the? Okay, let's try this again. She's, she's sleeping, so can't ask. All right, we'll start this. Oh, that was loud. So this will be, does that, do I set a timeline? It doesn't give you a timeline, you just keep it going? Huh. Let's refresh. Did it disappear? Okay, it's being weird. There's like three of them showing. Huh. Maybe Twitch needs to fix some stuff there still. Anyways. That's right, I don't have charity alerts set up. Alright, we'll leave the default. Alright, so that's the plan. Um, I'll be raising funds for Cheer Seattle for the next two months. Uh, I plan on setting up a Facebook fundraiser too um, to try to keep track, but uh, I'm uh, I'm planning on doing a dollar, a Kegel per dollar. <laughs> so, and then I, for every ten dollars, I'm going to do a cartwheel, and so that'll be it'll be called Kegels and Cartwheels. So it should be interesting. Especially with a goal of a thousand. That seems fine. Um, so yeah, so then June Pride Month, um, I will be doing, well, I, have, I submitted to a Power Up with Pride uh, marathon event. Um, I think I think I submitted several games, so we'll see uh, if any of them get in. Um, 
it also depends because uh, June, June Pride Month is a is a pretty busy month for cheer, and so like every weekend is usually pretty packed. So, so we'll see like what uh, what they're if they're able to get me in when I'm available too. Oh, I just realized we didn't do a a video. Let's do that.
<laughs> making him dance. He's like, what? What do you want me to do? <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we did the video. 45 minutes in. Cool. Okay, the charity thing's working now. Guess I gotta add a command for that and all that stuff later. All right, but I think uh, I think that's it. Is there anything else going on? We're gonna be we're gonna continue grinding uh, Chrono Trigger any percent vortex save. Um, oh, it's just his Minecraft thing. Um, so yeah, I want to get that down to sub three twenty five before we go back to Hundo probably. Um, but the nice thing about that is that we're we're get, still getting a lot of practice on most of the Hundo run anyway by doing any percent. So it's just a little different and a little faster. And I should probably throw a Chrono Cross run in there somewhere too. So I think maybe when, uh, when I need, when I'm done with Jade Blue Bunny and I want to like do more runs, I might throw a Chrono Cross Knight in or something. I do want to do all endings again, too, at some point. But we do have to improve Hundo first, I think, before we do that. There's a couple things I need to do on the Hundo. I need to get better at, at, uh, at like counting barriers for Magus so that I know how far we are and then being able to know like when to heal up in Phase 2 and when I don't need to. Um, and there's another fight like that too where I just need to be better about counting counting boss HP that kind of stuff Tentu's still got some pretty easy uh, easy time save to, to get just by running it but I also need to practice like the pushing the musicians into the elevator thing and maybe I should practice more on the, what do you call it, the, the bloodless puzzle thing. All right, but I think we're gonna call it there. I need to go get my stuff done, but I might be back later. We might do another Chrono Trigger any percent run tonight, or not tonight, but if I have time before cheer practice, is really the the main thing. If I get all my stuff done before noon, I'll have plenty of time. But let's go raid Tomo. He is doing Chrono Trigger Hundo. Speaking of, he's been learning the PC route. It's good to have some PC runners going on. Here's our raid message. And I hope y'all have an awesome rest of your weekend. Don't get the Sunday blues. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning or maybe later today. We'll see. And uh, thanks for hanging out.
Bye.